Cafe Pash aired? I'm gonna Google it, because now I'm curious. Okay, thank goodness for IMDb. So, uh, this series aired between the years of 1972 and 1983, and I actually remember watching the last, uh, final season. It was such a big deal because it was such a beloved series. And Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. It is the Hot Lips Houlihan Beauty Tag. And I was tagged by Lady Lulu on Beauty. She created this tag, so I... Actually, she tagged me a long time ago and I kind of forgot about it. And then I saw it start popping up, so I was like, yeah, I forgot to do that tag. So, I'm sorry, I just am a little late to the party on this one. So, the uh, premise behind this tag is, if you remember watching an original episode of M.A.S.H., I think this is her nice way of identifying women of a certain age, uh, then she wants to hear from you. So let's get started with this tag. There's 20 questions, and I'm going to try and move them through them through them pretty quickly. We'll see how I do. Uh, the first question is, in a hundred words or less, describe your summer skin and your winter skin. So, I tend to be very oily. Uh, definitely with an oily T-zone. Um, more normal on the cheeks. So during the summer, I'm way more oilier, <laughs> if that's a word. I have way more oil on my face and probably requiring blotting three times a day in the heat of the summer with some tissue papers. During the winter, that kind of settles back and I'm uh, um, almost normal. I probably just get a little glowy in my T-zone by the end of the day. So winter is kind of nice in that regard, although other parts of my skin feel a little bit drier. So yeah, it, I'm all over the place, but I'm mostly combination leaning definitely more on the oily side. Question number two, what eye cream did you use last night? And I used this eye cream from Origins, the ginseng um, that came in my Sephora, my holiday Sephora favorites box and I've been using the heck out of this. I really like this quite a bit. It gives a nice little uh, glow under your eyes and it's very moisturizing. Love that. Question number three. How's the hunt going for a neck cream? So, I don't know. I don't have a neck cream. I probably need a neck cream. I um, have only just recently been trying to bring my skincare down my neck and my decolletage a little bit. Um, I don't really think I've, I'm so conditioned just to stop here. So this is something new for me. So no, I don't have a neck cream. What's, uh, question number four, what skincare products are helping you win the war on aging? So I think just being more consistent with my skincare is a number one. Really taking the time to thoroughly cleanse and do all the steps of my skincare routine. And uh, definitely sticking with that darn not sexy SPF every day. That's so not sexy, I don't know. But it so works. Question number five, do you still use black eyeliner? Yes, I do. However, I don't have a lot of real estate on my eyes, so I don't do a lot of lining on my lid. I do mostly tight lining, and I feel like that kind of matches my black mascara, so it all kind of blends. So, uh, yes, I do still use black eyeliner. Question number six, is face powder your friend or foe? And because I am oily, it is my friend. However, I will say that uh, I don't use it under my eyes. I never use powder under my eyes to set my concealer because that is not my friend and it ages me 10 years whenever I do that. So I usually look for concealer that has um, a nicer uh, finish that kind of doesn't need to be powdered, but definitely powder my T-zone and sometimes touch that up during the day. Number seven, do you care if your blush has a uh, shimmer in it? And I don't, um, 
shimmer as opposed to glitter, I don't mind a little shimmer. Uh, I don't want glitter because I think that can accentuate any imperfections you have in your skin and at this age I certainly have more imperfections than I used to. So uh, I don't want glitter. A little shimmer I think is a good thing. It helps keep your complexion bright and a little glowy. Number eight, any makeup tricks that make you look more youthful? Uh, I would say probably less is more is the best thing I can say there. Not that I def not that I really follow my own thoughts on that, because sometimes more is more. Number nine, give your beauty sisters of a certain age three makeup tips. So I gave this a little bit of thought, and I think certainly one of the big tips is fill in your brows, girls. Because I often see women, they just spend a lot of money on dyeing their hair and their brows have disappeared. I'm like, you look a little weird. You need to fill in those brows. Uh, I think a good manicure will help make your hands look younger. So I really believe in that because you know what? Your nails age too and they get kind of ugly as you get older. So love a good manicure. And a finishing spray like, um, I like this one from NYX or the Urban Decay D Slick during the summer to kind of knock down that powdery look. Number 10, are you using any weapons of mass destruction on your age spots? So I have recently started a journey of trying to work on that a little bit. I had some IPL done. Uh, I'm doing some silk peels on a regular basis. And I just recently started using some Retin-A cream and uh, just this past week. So that's just starting. So that those are the things that I'm looking to uh, try and help keep that uh, under control. Number 11, does the phrase thinning hair have any meaning to you? No, I think my hair's about the same as it was. Number 12, which looks younger, your hands or your neck? I think my hands do. I don't know, my neck is a problem. So, no, I don't really like my neck. What bothers you most? 11s, crow's feet, or lip lines? Uh, I don't really have 11s. I don't really have lip lines. I have some uh, wrinkling, crinkling under my eyes, so I have to say that. 14. Have you had to pluck any chin hairs yet? Sadly, yes. What a pain in the neck that is. Who thought that was a good idea? 15. What do you do about your mustache? Um, I have been waxing, tweezing, anything I can. Shaving sometimes. Yeah, that's the dirty little secret no one talks about. Facial hair. Ooh. Question number 16. How many pairs of reading glasses do you own? So, I, I wear contact lenses. They're multifocal, so I can, they're kind of like progressive glasses, but contacts. So, I really don't need reading glasses. However, I'm kind of at the limit of what this range of contacts can do for me. So occasionally I do need them like in very low lighting in restaurants or when the menu doesn't have enough contrast in the between the print, like if it's a brown print on tan paper and it's dark, I can't hardly read it. And I also find myself needing them a little bit uh, when I'm sitting at work at my computer. So I have definitely have a pair at work at my on my desk that I use fairly regularly while I'm working on the computer. And then I do keep a little spare pair in my handbag. And uh, yes, my husband does borrow them from time to time. Just saying. <laughs> so number 17, uh, you win your choice of a neck lift, an eye lift, a boob lift, or a tummy tuck. Which do you choose? I really gave this one a lot of thought. Um, and, and I'm just don't know. I don't know what I would choose. Probably an eye lift because I feel like with my hooded eyes I would like them to be more open. However, I've seen people who've had eye lifts and they look weird. They look weird. Like, <laughs> like they're shocked all the time. I'm just not sure how I feel about cosmetic or plastic surgery. Um, I'm never, I'm not gonna say never because who knows never is a long time, but certainly not right now. So 18 is, uh, are you more concerned with wrinkling or sagging? And I think I worry about both uh, fairly equally. I think I have a little bit of wrinkling. I definitely have a little bit of sagging. 
and I know that's only going to get worse as time goes on, so yeah, I don't know. They generally say you're either a wrinkler or a sagger. I don't know. The jury's out on that still. Okay, number 19. Uh, do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summer? And the answer to that is yes. Do I go sleeveless like to work? Never. <laughs> There's a fine line. Where I live, the summers can be brutally hot and humid, so if I'm running errands, yeah, I'll go sleeveless. I don't really care that much what people think of me. Yeah. Number 20, what is the best memory of your mother's beauty routine? And uh, when I first read this, I thought, well, she didn't spend a lot of time and energy on skincare. She washed her face with dial soap and a washcloth. I know, right? I can't even imagine using dial soap on my face. And I don't know what she used as a moisturizer. I do remember, however, um, when I got a little bit older and she had picked up like a gift with a purchase from, I think it was Estee Lauder, and there was a skin cream or skin lotion in that kit, and she loved it. And I remember buying it for her for Christmas one year, and it, for me, it was a lot of money. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a lot of money. And she loved it, and she actually did repurchase it a couple of times because she really did like the way that looked. Other than that, I don't really remember watching my mother put makeup on. I know she really loved uh, Estee Lauder foundations and Lancome eyeshadows, and I remember more playing with her makeup, which I'm sure she despised, but she never said anything. But I would, you know, hang out in the bathroom and I'd try on all her stuff. And sometimes I looked like a drag queen when I was done. So that wraps up this tag. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to tag anyone specific. I think if you're interested in doing this tag, you should. And the reason why I'm not going to tag anyone specific is I really don't know how old some people are, and I don't want to offend anyone. So if you're interested in doing this tag, I think you should do it. Even if maybe you've only watched it in reruns, I don't know. That's up to you. However, I am going to put a question out there to my viewers, and I would like you to answer this in the comments below. And the question is, if you could go back in time and have a little conversation with yourself at a younger age, pick an age, any age, and what I'd like to know what beauty advice you would give your younger self. Because we've all made some mistakes, whether it's, you know, a look that you wore for a long time and you, you look back at those pictures now and go, Eek, why did I wear so much black eyeliner? Or why did I wear that lipstick? Or whatever it is. Uh, I'd like to know, what is that beauty advice you'd give to yourself? And, you know, I know most people are going to say sunscreen. Yeah, that's kind of a given. I'd like to know something different other than sunscreen. And in terms for my answer for that question would be take your makeup off, girl, because I can't tell you many, many years I slept with my makeup on, and I'm sure my skin paid the price for that. So I would go back to my younger self and say, after I had the sunscreen conversation, I would say, wash your damn makeup off before you go to bed at night. So Lady Lulu, thank you for creating that tag. That was a lot of fun to do, and certainly gave me a little food for thought on a couple of things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have other tags that you'd like to see me do, let me know. I, I think tags are kind of fun little videos to do and to watch, so certainly leave a comment below if you have a tag that you'd like to see me do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do, and join me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and I will see you real soon. Bye!